All right. Let's get this game running. Life is strange before the storm. Should be very short. I could finish it in one sitting. Settings. Always good to check the settings. Hella high. <laughs> okay. Hella high. So, for those that don't know, it's kind of a joke, inside joke with this game, so hella. So this, the first game of this series, got a lot of criticism, actually, and I think it was unreasonable criticism, but, I mean, okay, it's a game where you play as kids in school, and they use kid terminology, you know, whatever's cool and trending, and they, they use the word hella a lot. They say, oh, that's hella cool. And so many people hated this game because of that. I was not one of them. I, I'm like... I mean, it's a game about kids, of course they're going to use stupid um, phrases, as we did when we were kids. <laughs> if anything, that just made it a lot more immersive for me, but I don't know. If some people really couldn't stand playing the game because of that, then it's their loss, I guess. Alright, everything seems fine. Let's just play. So I guess they put that in their settings as a joke. Bonus episode. Topoid. Yeah, this is a sequel. It's a short one. It should only be like two hours, I think. Two and a half hours, maybe. But it's also a prequel, so probably doesn't even matter if you've, whether if you've seen the first game. Pretty sure it won't matter. Oh, that's Chloe. Chloe is voiced by Ashley Birch. I can't believe Firewalk of, is the um, show at the old mill. Hey Ash, what you're Fuck playing, yes. fame. So, I'm a Mom fan of hers. She, she's me. hilarious. She, she does lots of funny skits and stuff, but that was an old show that stopped running many years ago. All right. Well, yes, I. Um... Hold down left and press S to jump over. Oh, I see. You hold left click on something and then you choose what to do with it. Like look. No trespassing. That's fine. No way. It's reasonable controls. Oh, 
such a bad go. Holy shit. Yeah, that was in the first game. I don't know if that's gonna happen in this game. I think this game predates that specific supernatural this place element. Is awesome. But there might be something else, some other twist in this game. If I don't I'm know. gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Right, let me know if there's any bitrate pixelation and I'll turn the bitrate up. Because I said it's a 3500, that might be fine. If not, I'll just put more. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. It doesn't sound much like Ashley Birch. I guess because she puts on a, a, a specific voice when she does most of her YouTube videos. The betting stuff. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Is this relevant? Okay. Those guys need to get a room. <laughs> She's such a rebel. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. I understand. I understand, really. Gas can? Okay, I don't really care about gas can unless I can do something with it. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. Just get into this building for some reason. Oh, because there's a party in there, isn't there? Gotta we'll get where the party is. I finished the game yesterday. It's a short game. Like every rusty late game is short. so hard. I gotta get in there. Um, I got like one or two perfect meals, and then the rest not perfect. I realized you actually to get. You have to, if you want to get perfect meals all the way through, you have to cook them in the right order. Because some of them give you ingredients, some of the paths give you ingredients which are relevant to later meals. Can I push over all these bikes like dominoes? I'd join a motorcycle gang if I had any friends. Oh. Uh, can I just walk around the back of this guy? Yeah, it was campaign mode. You gotta let me in. I mean, check it. I'm totally legit. I, I don't really specify time frame. I can have long games or short games. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. <laughs> so how old am I? Like 16, Can't 17? Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him, or can something around here help me convince him? Oh, it's America, isn't it? So they have an insanely high age for going to bars and stuff. It's like 21. Which to me is absurd, but... What did she say? She gave a clue and I didn't even pay attention. I can't even imagine going to university and still not legally being that's allowed to drink. Like that's. Ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Straight. New dialogue unlocked. What? Should I ask him about the floral paint? What do you want, kid? Oh god, look at his ears! Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. What has he done to his ears? That's... Gee, thanks. Is that all? 
Horrific. This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. Inside now. Let's try and be Never smart mind. about this first, but. Yeah, keep walking. Bonfire. Can it just burn the place down? Ponder. Let's do a ponder. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Seen a person with those rings near? Right. No, never. Now I remember Should I have? Here. Is that common? Any place is better than home. I mean, I've seen them in like African tribal villages and stuff. <laughs> And not in person. Oh, I have seen them in person when I went to Kenya, yeah. But I've not seen many in person. She was looking at the sea, the rooftop. Maybe that's a key dog kennel. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. Uh, let's have a look around here. Should probably Do avoid you? getting on that guy's ship. Because us. trust with me is earned in actions, not words. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. I don't know what that bitting slip's about. Um, machinery. All right, should I just yell at him? Let's just see what, what happens. Back talk challenge. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Back talk use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. <laughs> you think she's he's gonna kill a sixteen year old girl or whatever? Don't you remember? Because she's like back talking. I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Oh, good back talk there. He might have me. To succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. Why does this feel so much like Monkey Island now? Where you, where every time you get into a battle with the pirates, you hold your swords out and all you do is come up with clever, witty retorts to what they said in order to beat them. Pay attention to it. Okay. Bedtime. T T no bedtime. Your bedtime. What? Then pick a comeback that reflects their words back at them. Neither of those look like good comebacks. I don't sleep. It's for the week. <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Cute. You call me cute. Oh, there's a timer. Oh, uh... Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. Get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. This is so Monkey Island. <laughs> a girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan. <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? 
It's a suck. Look the other way. Who's your boss? Is it's... your boss your mom? Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? These are not good you... comebacks. You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. Huh, okay. We're in. What's the mission? This is intense. Oh, shit. Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Pet. Well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't really go and pet people's dogs without asking permission first. Uh... That's exactly what we need, thank you! T-shirt... Yeah, I mean... Tape... Speak... Knife... Saw blade... Termination notice. What? All right, that looks interesting. Three hundred dock workers laid off. Their pensions canceled. God, Prescott's a real tool. Prescott. Was he in the first game? I think he was like the the rich guy. And his son went to school with us. And was a real prick. <laughs> I guess. Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at the Oh, I remember him, yeah. Studs. You tried. He was in the first game. What are you eating? Drug dealer. Here? I'm trying to see this damn band. But this place is crazy packed. Hard to get to the stage. How'd you even hear Can't be about that hard, come on. Shindig. Ha, the internet. Seriously? Fucking kids. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon Merrick? I see you've heard of him. This is his place. Damon's a, a friend of mine. Where do those stairs go? They probably go to Damon. Uh, Real helpful, Frank. I mean, will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? Floor above's rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. I'll see you later. Whatever. Check it off. Looks like the stairs are broken. I think 
just gonna fall through the floor though. Is she really enjoying this? Like, she's at a weird place. She doesn't really have any friends here. No one... She doesn't... She clearly doesn't get on with anyone. She doesn't even have a drink to drink. <laughs> Wouldn't she just be happier listening to a Walkman at home? Forced to insult. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Yes. Don't attack someone with a knife. There's a knife on a young girl, that's... That doesn't earn you street rep, street rep does it? Okay. Mission complete. I enjoyed a uh, party. Nah, it's still a bit dark. Smoking. Uh, yeah. I forgot that, but yeah. Alright. 
I think I could just wake her up by pressing space. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night, loser? By what? So she's writing a, a note to Max. So Max is the main character of the first game. All the, the journals filled with letters to Max, it seems. Wait, which one? Ah, oh, he's writing, she's writing letters to Max, but she's not sending them. So if I remember correctly, David is her stepfather. Who works as a like a school, whatever the equivalent of police officers for school? I mean, obviously, being European, I can't even comprehend having a police officer in a school, but apparently, that's pretty normal in America. He's like a, a school cop. <laughs> And he's a bit of a knob. He's the uh, principal of the school. Blade Runner, I remember that's like her favorite movie. All right. Huh. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. So that's Max? That's. Right? Wait, oh. I don't know who's who. Whoa! Wakey, wakey, edgy, wakey. Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy ass. Oh, it doesn't look like she drank the alcohol. That girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Oh, probably did drink beer. Uh, yeah, pirate hat, why not? It's not weird at all. I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. Butterfly, bonus outfits, raven, bonus outfits. What are the bonus outfits? Bird Skull Square Phoenix member. Oh, we gotta go by the Illuminati. Is this gonna be the Illuminati symbols? Oh, perfect! 
Oh, I don't have to quest set up, but that is that is Illuminati symbol right there. Right, I'm keeping that. Uh, I really should get going. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Oh, let's try out the computer. Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. What? Who? What photo? I've been tagged in a photo. Uh-oh. I have feelings about this. <clears throat> Most of them are Most popular not girl in school. Feelings. So much street rap. Look at these window graphics. That's pretty cool though how how it's rendered. Improve. What do you mean improve? Better living through chemistry. Okay, <laughs> MJ four twenty. All right, I have to go take some bacon. Where's my phone? It's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. We're gonna get stopped by a that dickhead, what's his name? David. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? <laughs> Alright, let's not look at photos and stuff, let's just call... Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. These go from top to bottom, right?
Frank. Yeah, he's my weed dealer apparently. Um, oh yeah, 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 I remember Frank was in the first game. So Max and Chloe have like a long distance friendship because she moved out. I saw mom's purse in her room. One second. Turn this light off now. Oh man, it's so dark. One second. It always does. Very quickly. Um, Chloe, you're gonna be late for school. Okay, but mom, you just told me to get your purse. So. Really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Oh, Illuminati symbol. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for. Am I going to school? To yeah, of course. <laughs> In America, you don't have to wear school uniforms. Dining it's... table, here I come. It's such a weird concept to me. <laughs> Slow cooker. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Swear jar. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Alright, got school to deal with us. Just. First, we have to shake the snow globe. I can't, I can't miss that opportunity. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Okay. <laughs> um, all the plants, all this random stuff in the room. So. From when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. I still have a phone. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Because he's a total knobhead. Pot roast. What's, why is pot roast up blind? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. Oh, I and could go for some pot roast. And don't say you don't care. No one roasts so here in Thailand. <laughs> Everything's Whatever fried. Your boyfriend likes. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. 
He can be he is indeed a dick hole. Yeah. An old fashioned dick hole. Ah, right. Actually, cool. I mean, as much of a dick My hole as he is, he, he was a bit of a hero at one point yeah. in the first game. I used to think drugs were lame too. And he did I redeem himself. Joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? <laughs> I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. What did he do that she hates? And don't think you can get out of school uh... just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you? He's Same just, uh, so you don't get very... He's, so he's a school cop. Which is a ridiculous concept in itself. Um, your grades and your but he's just words. really rude to all the students, and he's always, thing. like, um... Getting on her case about things. The whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. And I can't remember exactly I can't remember much about him in the Just previous game, but I remember he was fighting with Blackwell to keep you on uh, a huge dick a lot of the time. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're sixteen and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Your boyfriend's an asshole! He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. Hey, can David's we... had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience. Do really want to talk about David? Or just it's like I'd let him school? get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Ugh. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? <laughs> Be understanding, say what you feel. Uh, oh. I mean, I know he, he was a complete asshole in the first game, but this is several months before the first game, so I don't really know what he was like back then. I don't know. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible, but I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice, or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. All right. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. I hope this game is not all just going to be about the relationships between the characters, because the first game had a lot of kind of some more puzzles in it, some time warp mechanics, and uh, I don't know what's going to be in this game. Am I leaving? Ah, <sighs> crap. Oh. I forgot David's keys. Uh, it's probably worth at Where least ten push-ups. Is he upstairs? I hate not being able to run. Oh, I can't go upstairs. What? Okay, he must be downstairs. Oh. 
Karte. I made that ashtray for mom's keys only. We're already supporting one. Thanks. <laughs> Where's the ashtray? Ashtray. Here they are. <laughs> she just holds it and looks Let's at it with disgust. Let's get these so he can drive away. Yeah, he's a bit no of a typical, off the inevitable torture of driving typical former David. army guy. Better get going. Now in a kind of a dead end job. Wait, check my phone. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're wow. hoping you men will leave without us. Okay, he's still a bit of an asshole then. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Do you the not part. hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. The garage. All right. Wait, I still haven't checked my phone. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? I think he did, didn't he, in the previous game. Alright, how do I check my phone? I have your DVD. Okay. Okay. Lots and lots of notes on people. Alright. Um, what am I looking for? Wrench. Mom's been cleaning again. Uh, toolbox. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe 90-10. Will I have the option to do that? Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. <sighs> a little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right.
Why is he fist bumping me <laughs> after just being unfriendly? What the? F how you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Oh, did you just laugh at our deceased dad's toolbox? Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk, please don't want to talk, I want to talk to you about something. No. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? What is this argument? Then I hope you're a better plumber than you are a mechanic. You... Your mother... Breaking her heart. Whatever. <laughs> At least she has a heart. All you have is. What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. I don't remember enlisting, so don't treat me like your newest recruit. If you were a man, it's I. It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. Oh. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. Tell him to turn that junk off. Where are we going, Dad? I guess Mom left her purse back here. said in the first game. I think at some point Max found out she could go back in time way back to 
some earlier event in Chloe's lifetime, but not that far back. Alright, just say thanks for that. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I said I thanks. In your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. Hmm. I'll warn everything. Doesn't he work here? Oh, maybe he didn't have that job Blackout. at the moment. Alright, we're back to Blackwell Academy. I wonder if the layout is the same. Elliot? I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So... What were the haters saying? I thought people were impressed. Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but... I was thinking... Do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to, but sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks, I went with Tommy. On, on my way? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Thanks, I know. She over there? Come on, you can run faster than this. Sprint! If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill Oh, they're playing Dungeons and Dragons, that's so cool. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Play? Hello, Olafus. To be honest, I'm not loving it that much so far. I hope it picks up a bit more at this point, because the first few scenes were a bit... a little bit boring, I thought. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Is it really sad? Okay. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Oh yeah, Blade Runner's her favorite movie, Five wasn't bucks, it? Right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. I've got to watch That's Blade Runner motto. again. Right on. And I haven't even watched the new one. Do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Uh. It's just. Well, I guess we're not friends, but. I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yes, please. Yeah. I don't have 50 oh. hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Sure. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> Alright. Nice. 
I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, mm -hmm. a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron. Durgaron. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averno. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Bob. Bob's great. Lost, yeah, Chloe. Barb. No, 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 no. What do you mean, no? I can Give be Bob. Barb a chance, okay? The two Is it not an Elamon. elfish name? Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, Wait, we're both facing the Unscarred. Opposite direction as well. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Go try and free the prisoners then. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages. Each imprisoning a human villager, mm -hmm. calling out for you to free them. Are they all gonna help us? Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Don't you have, like, what's it called? Um, mage hand or something where you can, like, pick up objects from afar? Hmm. Intimidate. Pick the lock. I'm a barbarian, I don't know how to pick locks. Tempt with bread. Alright, intimidate. intimidate. Apparently, this is That's Chloe's skill, skill. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. Like in real life. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't. I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works? is I shove my arm up your ass, into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragon can please with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you.
You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. Wow. The dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus ten bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small charisma is intimidation, isn't it? Elderly dragonkin as hands trembling. It hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Awesome. Yeah. Go cheese. Dies. Why don't you start unlocking okay. the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, I just killed the prisoner dragon kid with my words. You in fear. What's next? Alright, whatever they're free. Training ground. Loot oh. sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Okay. Holy shit. You see why That's I haven't really a very needed a powerful partner? spell. The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. I do a pommel strike. I strike his pommel hard. <laughs> um, what did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword handle. Pommel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. This sucks. It's all right. Try using your. You've delayed too long. The orc swings his war hammer at your head. Come on, I'm allowed to think. Your move. Fatal cleave. Okay, I have an axe, so I can do fatal cleave. That makes okay. sense. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, Ugh. it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Don't worry, Elamon guy. We all make mistakes. Elamon? No, it's... Barb, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Why is him forgiving Barbarian? You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak. Is that how you pronounce Minotaur? I thought it's Pinus. Easily well. six feet long. His laughter bellows. I've never heard it said out loud. <laughs> Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Oh. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast. Which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Barb? 
Mm. What'll it be? Annihilation strike? Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? Critical That's bad, piss. right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. Wow. Um. I am so sorry. Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches. The game's no fun. There's no risk of your character stop. dying. Stop. Stop. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Dance. Jump in front of Elmon. Encourage of no. He's lost his ankles. Encouragement's not gonna help him. Dance. Would that actually serve? That might actually serve as a good distraction. I uh, I don't know. Shit. I dance to distract him. You dance to distract him. I'm doomed. Sixteen. What? What? Your crappy, arrhythmic dancing is weirdly mesmerizing to Durgaron. He pauses with his sword in midair for ten seconds, buying Elmon time to crawl away. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! What am I rolling for? Your it's... attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. And we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Uh, just go for his head. Oh wait, is this going to be like the end of Avengers? I should have gone for the arm. Ah, go for the head. I take one last swing at Durg... Dur Durgface's head! You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgaron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgaron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight. And cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. Dude, you have no ankle. That you have no fun. feet. Check out what That's I drew. Your days of adventuring, I would say, are over. Drawing skills. Did you even pick up the severed feet and bring them back with you? Sorry, I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll that was with quite, you quite fun, actually. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Alright, I kind of... I want to finish at the end of chapter one. Is that... It'll, it'll tell me, won't it? Uh, 
uh, yeah, I enjoyed that Dungeons and Dragons game. That was actually pretty fun. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True North. And Jocks so dumb he makes Jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, oh wow. Nathan Prescott. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. Oh, what's he got in there? The Has he got now. like the weird <laughs> photos of kidnapped women? Oh, Jesus. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks. What are you gonna whoa, do? Touch a go? You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Oh, no. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Thing is, didn't Jack Prescott. I mean, I know this is using future knowledge of what happens in the future, but still, Jack Prescott becomes someone who, like, drugs women and kidnaps them, so... Stay out. Let him get beat up. Hey, if you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like... Booyah. Is that it? I was actually hoping not to get beaten up. <laughs> that took me months to put together. Wait, what was the what was With in that folder? Or next time I want to see what photos he had in there. Go to hell. You should be ashamed. What if you wanted to do something, you could have stepped in. Oh. I mean, I don't know what's in that folder. Is that Rachel? I can't really tell. They all kind of look alike. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Uh, many a time... The harmony of their tongues. Hath I listened to Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Wow. Keaton, sorry Mr. To Keaton's a bit of a... Does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? 
What do you think? Best thing. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she? Twelve? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so... Why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and we, don't, like... What is this? Are we developing a crash? Should be doable, right? I think that's what's happening here. The crash music is playing. Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's bell. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Favorite son of the oldest and most influential family. How pretentious. Prospero. Wait, why wouldn't I go through? Where's Rachel gone? I'm not paying attention to what? She... Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's gonna be awkward romantic thingy. Let's just let it happen then. It's a cool costume. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. Okay. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. <laughs> I I'd never seen Firelock live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? What exactly is she talking about here? The bats? Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? She gonna follow the band Fuck yes. on their tour? I was born to ditch. Let's get the hell out of here. So what, just like that? We're... 
just heading out? Okay. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Didn't even go home to pick no? up any stuff. What the hell are we getting into here? Some money or something? Okay. That's adventure. Train to Seattle. What? Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. She wants me to sit there. Or not. Take a look at the shipping label. That might tell us where Whoa. we're going. Nathan's dad is a Terminator. That. Totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Is Rachel not? I mean, she's gonna perform in the Tempest. Is she not? Things heavier she than it looks. She just abandoning that role. Or? Guess I should sit down. All right, Chloe, you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is so, this do you stuff? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Oh, Ben Haddock. A spoiler. Should I make small talk? Is do that what that. people do? I don't remember what I said at the time, so, so I didn't. I didn't understand, to be honest. Um, nice weather. Is that what? I mean, I know in England that's what we say when we have nothing to say. Is that what they do in America too? It's nice, Rachel. Except we never have a nice weather in England. <laughs> what? I mean, weather. It's nice weather. What did she say? It sure is. Should say nice wetter. <laughs> so, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. It's a bit weird that we're on a train I to don't Seattle. Anyone and I don't have any friends. You have friends. I'd well, say that's weird. I used to. Friend, singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Do you say thanks when someone says that sucks? That doesn't sound right. Alright, Mr. Keaton. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? I guess you could say I'm good with people. Yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. She did <laughs> just get Shit. me on the train. <laughs> I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. How are we gonna get back? Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. This is a pretty what slow train. Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy. But then I'm used to royalty. like trains in Asia where they just go me. pretty fast. Yet. Let's do something fun. Flirt. I don't want to say flirt. I don't know what she's gonna say. It could be a bit much. 
Just agree. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? This is more elaborate than the other. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could yeah, travel anywhere, crowd. where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? All interesting places to go. Kathmandu. I've never One been day, to Kathmandu. I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous. Born in New York. Okay, and two of those were very boring, and one was so, somewhat interesting. Which is the lie. I guess Leo, because she kind of forgot to even mention it. No, that doesn't mean it's a lie. Maybe the first one. I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad, because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl. Born and raised. All right. So New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Cheat. Right, let's start with, I don't know. Uh... I assume these are all for as a kid. She does seem to like science. And from other people's perspective, she would seem like someone who doesn't like science, so maybe that's a good one. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. I mean, huh. you don't have a periodic table in your bedroom without liking science, right? It's got another truth. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arrgh. I'm gonna cheat. And allergic to it. Should know I'm not in a band. Uh, I broke my hand punching someone. Allergic to cats. Sorry. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. That's no way. Bitch took my yoo -hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. Hmm. 
You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. There's that word again. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think the devs really I just wanted to, to address the hella. Of course you want to be a pirate. Thing that lots of game players complain about for no reasonable reason. Plunder secret treasure. So pirate, obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. She's right, that's... <laughs> Tell me how you really It's feel actually a pretty it. unpleasant school. Anyway. School sucks, People bringing guns into the toilets. I'm gonna say true. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. So you're a physician now. Last summer, I performed a one-woman Doctor Who homage entitled Weeping Angel. Wait, what? The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Oh. Yeah. Is that from... I guess... A car accident? Seven. No. Bullshit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. So, if my math is correct, you told right. me to choose Sexual tension is becoming life. unbearable. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so I totally cool. want to be a pirate. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Oh, it's coming. Oh. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Alright, this is this still chapter one? Because it's quite 
bit longer than I was expecting it to be. Oh, bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say I, jump? I know jump. Rachel was Fuck it. Uh, mentioned in the first game, but I can't even remember what, whether it was mentioned if anything happened to her, like if she died or something, so I actually don't remember. White, well, uh, got a totem pole. This is a nice place. Is this still Arcadia Bay? Like, why is everyone hey, hate Arcadia Bay so it's much? Actually pretty nice it's actually, Glad you approve. seems and really, as your reward for making it up here, I mean, aesthetically, I it's a nice place. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is what I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some High-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You don't even have any orders. money. How how are, we, yeah. are you gonna get back home or hey, even get any food to I eat? MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah. Let's see what you got. All right, first MacGyver session of the game. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Huh. Investigation. Oh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? Yeah, that'll work. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. What was that comment about? What? 
Oh, it's Victoria. I did nothing. What? Just stood by and watched. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Oak tree. The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. I don't want to head down there just yet. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost. Scared. Oh, Get out of here, have some self-respect. I feel like there's something there and they're in the way. Bye, you fools. Alright, can I now take whatever's there? Well, uh... Alright, there was a glitch there. Steal a. Uh, oh, it's a Prescott. Okay, take it. Take it away. <laughs> Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> it was Prescott. Wells. Yeah, that was pretty fun. We have a... Does this make any more sense than a nail file? There's another viewfinder First over there. Let me just try the other one, or are they both? Oh, now we use the quarter on the other viewfinder. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Alright, let's play the uh, spying game. I don't know. I mean, you're not going to see many people. There's one person there. Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. Alright, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. I feel like we're gonna witness something that becomes very significant in this spying scene. Real. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Alright, let's focus on the task. What's this? Alright, let's see.
Why do we always hold hands like this? Didn't you tell me you were ambidextrous? No, I didn't. I said I was ambisexual. Oh, so you can have sex with both of your hands? Exactly. Wanna see? Only if you let go of my hand first. <laughs> <laughs> stuff uh. hmm what's going on with these two if you want lunch you're going to have to learn how to skin your own food like a man but I don't know how to skin a bald eagle dad you don't what the <laughs> hell are they teaching you in school Wow that was dark <laughs> too dark Perfect dark. Perfect dark. Should play perfect dark. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? <laughs> no matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic. But also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> Oh. This is fun. Who's next? Oh, this is... We're gonna witness something, aren't we? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot! Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Right. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. Does she seem angry? She wanted to play this game. She's leading the way. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. Alright. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? Oh my god! What? I don't want to do this. Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. What What do we do? Should we check her pulse? This is she's used to be a light a line. Come on. Give her CBR! Yeah, the Oscar she's gonna, they're gonna call the hospital. Yeah, I guess I'd remember Rachel something like that. Rachel Amber. So Better play my supporting it. role and grab the wine fast. Fine, I'll do it. Just grab it. Why are you taking so long? Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. Yeah, yeah if you go like this, of course, they're going to catch you. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. Who are you waiting for? Go! Uh, I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look closer. In the meantime, I'll search for the booze. 
Yeah, wine is not gonna work. There's something off about this. Are as a um... putting us on. Rachel, run! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's go down there. Uh. So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> Easy there, Chloe. I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. Excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Okay, is that the end of chapter one? I want to finish, but I want to finish at the end of chapter one. Just make it all nice and wrapped up. Apparently not. Okay, let's keep going then. The whole game's not even that long, is it? Maybe I'll just finish here. Okay, she's really gulping down that wine. Whoa! Hey, check this out. What? Trash. Uh, yeah, an awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Just give us some space. Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Didn't say anything. Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. Not everything revolves around you, Chloe. I didn't say it did. I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Fuck! Uh, Can I just leave? Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. 
I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! See ya. Apparently she's turned into Rachel, a... wait! Don't go! I'm happy with this. Let her go. Just, just go back home. Why not? Because... Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. What is this? And what is this, exactly? I mean... Fuck! Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? Exactly. You know, like... A friendship! But... More. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on. Say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. All right. Smash, 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 smash. This isn't healthy, come on. She's fake. Y you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Ah! Fuck off, Rachel. Camera. I've never understood your heart on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. What? 
are you doing? Goodness, uh, this is uh, psychopathic behavior. Everything? No, oh, gotta keep breaking stuff. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. That the car. Don't smash it, this is not healthy. Okay, smash it. But you're gonna end up with broken wrists. She's quite strong. <laughs> it's making dents in it. Crying, sweetheart. Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. Did I? My, my shirt has changed. I guess I did that. 
gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. I don't feel drunk. Sometimes people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. Rachel is kind of scary, actually. The way she just suddenly flips. Rachel! Was I was Chloe in the car during the accident? I don't think she was. I think she's just that's just application. Is that the sound a crow makes as it flies by? That's... Doesn't sound like a... She's still here too? What are we doing here? She's back to her former self now. Because that was kind of weird. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that well, woman? That and might mean something to her. Making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Have said so. That would have made oh. things clearer. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. Here? Yeah. And you just got on this train? Well, I guess you might have known the train route. Don't say, I hate it when people say, I'm sorry, because what are you sorry for? I 
I didn't do anything. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. Just to clarify, is he when still my with dad you? Died. I was so mad at him. Because I don't know if he's cheating or if he just doesn't, doesn't like the fact that he's wrong. Because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10, and it started raining, and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... I don't know what to do. I'm fu- <sighs> He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. Don't say no one's safe. We trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. What do I owe her one for? She was definitely in the wrong there. So... Don't... Don't worry about it. I mean, I no, know she saw something which... Whatever's her, still. going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. Or like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. How did she know that? You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? Two against one. But you wouldn't take any shit from them. I'd be dead if you hadn't thrown that bottle. You inspired me. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... I mean, you just caught him cheating. You got leverage there. Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Everybody us? wants to leave this place. Are you serious? But it's, There's it's beautiful. Nothing look. Keeping me here. Not anymore. So People are the problem. That's to true. Tomorrow uh. and told you to pack your bags. I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place yeah, forever. That's not gonna work. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? He's not. Oh no. I mean, okay. Thank you. You saw him cheat, but he's not dead to you. That's a bit. Wow. 
now. No, 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 no. No, what have you done? Yeah, powers. Okay, if that fire spreads, oh no, it's spreading. Started to pull on forest fire. That's a really sad thing. Why are the police here? Because we were missing? Who was that? Who was that? My father's girlfriend? Oh. That was a weird last moment there with the uh, the woman smoking. Well, okay. Uh, it was very different to Life is Strange, the first game. Not really the kind of game I would have enjoyed, but I, I did enjoy it a bit. It didn't involve much in the way of interaction Choices, small puzzle solving elements, or even like the supernatural elements that they had, which were all great in the first game. This one was just really focused on inter character relationships. That was alright. But I guess it's kind of more of a um, kind of a small intermediate game to play between Life is Strange and Life is Strange 2. But it was very beautifully designed, definitely. The scenery was great. Oh, it was written by Ashley Birch, was it? Okay. Uh, 
That's Ashley Birch of um, Hey Ash, what you're playing fame. She's already proved that she can write some really cool stuff. And her brother wrote Borderlands 2. The ending was sad, but in all honesty, I was a bit sadder about that forest fire. That's forest fires are horrible things. So that kind of shifted my, took me away from my concern for her and more about concern for the forest, to be honest. That was a pretty bad fire. And it seems like there was an implication, at least, that she had some sort of supernatural power when she screamed. Because it was making the fire bigger. That could have just been Chloe's imagination, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, overall, I enjoyed it. I especially like the Dungeons & Dragons scene, that was fun. But definitely, I would say, people can't come into this game expecting to have any of the elements they enjoyed from Life is Strange 1, because it's a very different tone here. Um, I can't even remember whether I bought this game. I probably got it free in some bundle. I don't think I was interested enough to buy it. developers yeah I was kind of, I was really hoping that they would have some very interesting game mechanic in this game like the time control in game so I was slightly disappointed that that there wasn't that kind of thing in this game because that was what I felt really established in the series but okay but then again the first game really did kind of outline what it is like to be a kid um, be well at least in an American high school. Actually, it, for me, it's pretty strange, all these concepts uh, that are very Americanized. <laughs> um, I mean, I can't even imagine being in a school where people bring guns in and stuff. Like they did in Life is Strange, that's just, for me, that's an extremely foreign concept.
Plus. Plus. These are the names of the songs. Okay. Oh, and of course, the music in this game and the first game are pretty great. And I'm gonna get me muted on Twitch probably. Made in Unity. Unity is cool. I'm just all tabbing for a moment. I think I have Life is Strange, no I don't have Life is Strange 2, I do have, what's it called, Captain something or other, but that's a very short game, it's like one hour long. The choices, the choices, sorry. Oh, wait, uh, uh. You attacked. Yeah, I ran. I was in the minority, interesting. Who, I mean, I'm a small framed teenage girl against two guys, one of which is armed with a knife. If you attack, you're an idiot. <laughs> Alright. No kind to choice. Okay, good. Stayed out of the fight. I was in the very small minority there. Why? Do people forget what Nathan became in the... I know it's a bit weird to use stuff that happens in the future to influence your decision, but still. He... I mean, he did actually drug and kidnap women and do weird stuff with them, so... Who defends Nathan? You defended Nathan. Take a look in the... Oh, I don't know what to suggest then. Alright. You told Rachel you were more than just friends. Made sense. Alright. Oh, what's all this? Okay. Didn't take the money. What money? I don't, I don't know what money that is. Didn't purchase pot from Frank. Yeah. Not bothered. Didn't read Joyce's... Didn't put the photo of William on the slip money into... Why would I slip money in... into... All of these are such odd things. <laughs> Told Ellen El El if he would go to the play with him. Didn't listen to Skip's demo. Who's Skip? We finished the tabletop game... Steph and Mikey. Most players did that. Good. Didn't sabotage. It looks like there were a lot of little things you could have done in the game, which is really awesome. Apparently I missed a lot of them. So apparently this was by far the most common thing in the entire game. You shared earbuds with Rachel. 
That's quite sweet. <laughs> wow, 98%. But yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you? Who, who were the 2% that didn't share air butts with Rachel? That was a very sweet moment. Jumped out of the train. What would happen if I didn't jump out of the train? Friend stats? I don't think. Have any friends who played this game? No, apparently not. All right. Shit. No one steals from me. I want my fucking money. There's more. That was just episode one? <laughs> I thought that was the whole game. Okay, this game is so much longer than I thought it was. I'm happy about that. I'm happy to continue playing, but not now, but I will carry on. And that's a bonus episode. Wow, I really thought I had just finished the game. <laughs> Alright, well then I guess... Life is strange before the storm is not over. I will continue next time. And... Wow, we're gonna find out what happens about that forest, but that's... Out of everything that happened in that game, that upset me the most, burning down that forest. Alright. Finding out I didn't actually finish the game is actually... Um... Okay, cool. <laughs>